Hello everybody, I'm Loaf Dog and welcome back to Trails in the Sky. It's time for the final showdown, well, the last bit of preparation before the final showdown. Alright, I brought along my tools to tune up everyone's ornaments just in case. I can also make a few tools and pieces of equipment. Really? That was thoughtful of you. That should be useful. Thank you very much. It's really no big deal. If I can help out, just say the word. I mean, I get what the game is trying to do, but I feel like I'm fine. Unless... I didn't actually... Oh, she, she goes... Her surname is Harvey? Okay. Um... Orbment? Yeah, I don't know what they have equipped. Uh, okay, she's uh, more wind-oriented, and oh yes, I like her. Okay, yeah, I feel like I'm fine just the way I am. Maybe they have something else that I could equip, but no. Uh, new? Maybe the, um, the accessories, yeah. A necklace that gives off calming floral fragrance prevents confuse. Yes, why not? And then... Sapphire Talisman... Well, she's already pretty much water-based, so why not? And the ruby one to our fiery red mistress here. And we're ready to go. Oh, wait a second. Oh, well, it's too late. <laughs> Maybe he also sold equipment. I didn't even check. Whatever. It's already almost noon. Shall we start the launch? Oh, okay. I can prepare equipment. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're going to mess with our gear, we should talk to the mechanic. And that's what we shall do. Modify exchange buy. Yeah, there it is. Ah, uh, it's just items. Well, you know what? Defense, defense... Uh, I guess I could get something else for Shara. Wouldn't want to leave her other space empty. Prevent sleep, seal, mute. What is the difference between seal and mute? See, I feel like they should have explained this at the start of the game. And now it's too late. Yeah, prevents blind, why not? Yes, cool. And there you go, my fair lady. Boom. Ready to roll. Yeah, yeah, it's almost noon. Bored. I understand. Peyton, could you help us? Roger that. I'll handle the engine. You can just focus on flying, your highness. It's finally time, Shara. Yes. It'll be a difficult mission, but the fundamentals are as important as ever. Speed and steadiness. Speed and power! Uh, is this the clock tower in... Size? No, this is Gransel, right? Yeah, it wouldn't really make sense to show us Zeiss now. The cathedral? Okay. It's eerily empty. Yep, stuff is about to go down. Damn, looks like it started. Let's go, Dorothy. We've got to get a good spot to watch. I make photos. Uh, wait, let me set up the exposure quartz. Hey, what's going on? You haven't shown up in three days and... Big story. Biggest in the history of the liberal news. No, oh, Joshua and the others, right? Yeah, in the cellar. Okay. The castle gate controls are in the royal guard office. South stairs. Got it. Let's get going. Let's, but be careful. Okay, there was a guard here. I wonder where this leads to. Okay. Well. What? Intruders? Well, yes, I guess you could call us that. I guess I can understand the sentiment. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them. They were so unprepared for it. Uh, even better. Okay. Now, like, uh, an area magic would be good, but I don't think I have. Oh, stone impact. Yes, baby. Okay. 
Ah, uh, but he gets to act like at the end of the... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's not worth it. Because he only gets to act at the end of the turn here, so... Why even bother? Do we take out the Dobermans first? Uh, is it Dobermans or Doberman? <laughs> Ooh, Petrify, nice. Good start. Uh, Sobler area? What is this? Oh, oh, come on, I'm missing four to use the evil eye. Okay, let, let's get some points and do that. Mm, yeah, attack the other one. We'll take out the ranged guys first. Uh-huh. You don't get to act. Okay, okay, all of you. Um, I mean, there's not... Ooh, quick draw is an area attack. Cool. Yeah, why not? Nice! Yo, either they're like kinda nerfed or we're more powerful than I thought in before I get shocked and can't move anymore. Cool. Okay. Well, I guess we kinda deserve it. We've done the same to one of theirs, so... Eh, okay, it's fair. Um, no, my man, you shall use smite. On this one, sure. Confused, confused, come on. Yeah, baby! Okay. <laughs> nice. I mean, you could have attacked one of the other ones, but... I'm not complaining. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're killing Joshua, big deal. As if nobody's tried that before. Nice. Bro, this is going way too well <laughs> for what I'm used to. Oh, and he recovered. Evil Eye? Nah, they're too far apart. Damn it. Uh, then just a dual strike will do. Yeah. Boom and boom. You feel lucky, punk? I feel like you should leave, you know, it's in your best interest. Still, if you want to die, fine by me, man. And uh, no, attack him normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fight is over. Good work, gentlemen. Almost to level 31, dear Joshua, okay. That takes care of them. Nighty night, kitty cats. Let's see what we can do about this gate control. Keep your eyes open for any more special ops. Leave it to us. No one's going through here, or my name isn't Zin the Immovable. Oh well, yeah, I guess that does make sense. <laughs> and now's the time that Heaven's Gate opens. Thus begins the final movement. I mean, having Zindi immovable and Olivier shooting behind him, that should be a good combination. What the? Uh, aren't we on total lockdown right now? What, why is the gate opening? <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, they're not even thinking of an attack, they're just clueless. What? Impossible! Well, now, now they, they do know about the attack, but, you know. <laughs> Someone had better tell me this is a bad joke. Why is the gate open? Your orders, Captain? Enemies could breach the castle at any moment. Our remaining members of the first platoon to the foyer, on the double, allow no one to enter. Yes, ma'am. What a disgrace. If the enemy is not routed before I have to report to His Excellency? Uh, Captain? Special Ops Frigate inbound. Frigate? Frigate? I don't know. Damn it! So that, w that was their ploy? Hell yeah! You never saw it coming, did you? Okay. Descending slowly. <laughs> It's a good thing that the terrace here is so wide. <laughs> nah, 
Uh, I'm gonna enjoy beating the crap out of you, Amalthea. Estelle Bright and Princess Claudia? Captain Amalthea, stand aside. I'm here to demand the release of my grandmother. What's your tongue, girl? Oh, I'm gonna watch my tongue and my rapier. <laughs> She's preparing to use arts, though. We've got to keep that in mind. Oh, it's support. You didn't even read. What does it say? Uh, whip allies into shape. Attack advance. I mean, we already have the advantage. I don't know if this will give us more turns. Eh, let's go for a bind whip. Why not? Whip. Ooh. Ah, uh, didn't work. Okay, well. Uh, then, okay, I guess my girl will just attack normally. Yeah, yeah, let's pile, <laughs> let's pile up on Amalthea. Um, you as well, you were hella powerful, if I remember correctly, Sturm. A continuous strike, cancelling arts and craft, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, she, she already cancelled. Oh, okay, nice. Absorb. Ah, sneaky. Okay. I mean, if she had to do it to anybody, yeah, do it to her. She has a ton of points. Alrighty. Heaven's kiss now. Nah, bind whip. Uh, yeah, it, it reaches. So why not? Hmm. I'm guessing she's immune to status effects. No worries, though. Oh, come on. Still not enough points. Ah, damn. Yeah, she's too far away, so... Uh, this one, why not? Poison spray. I mean, that's a really weird spray bottle. You could almost say it looks a lot like a gun. Okay, okay. Chill. Chill with the poison on the princess. I mean... I would understand anybody else, but like, ooh, debilitate, yes. Z. Yeah, my boy. Ah, she's cornered. I don't think we've ever cornered any enemies up until now. So, I guess it's a first. Well done, Amalthea. Oh yeah, weave your shadows, see what I care. Absorb. Ah, okay, well. Could have been worse. Still, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, she needs to heal, unfortunately. Uh, craft, noob, uh, art. Uh, 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 Thalas was revive and heal. Curia, Lakiria. I guess. La Tiara is useless. Yeah, just Tiara. On yourself. Ah. Well then. Cool. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Nice. Ah, but they're gonna... Mm. Ah, fudge it. Let's waste this turn. And... Uh, where is it? Tiara Bond. There we go. Unless... Wait, what if I use this? Does it affect everybody? It does. At least it seems it does. Because, like, heals all HP. You know, why not? Oh, wait, does it heal all my HP? Uh, I thought it was for the whole party. Uh, oh, well. Bye, Chloe. Yeah, it was kind of my fault, actually, so you no need to be sorry. And Estelle's gone. I should have read the instructions carefully. <laughs> well, my bad. Mm, I mean, I guess I could take out Amalthea first. That'd probably be for the best. But she's so far away. Alright. Um, mm -mm, reviving bomb on Chloe. Huh. 
and by the power of ideas, she's resurrected. Not for long, probably. Yeah, I knew it. The joy they take in freaking doing this type of stuff, it's unparalleled. Like, they love so much when you waste your items and turns. It's unbelievable, honestly. Okay, tell me you can't reach. Yes. Same goes for her. Um. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what, girl? You know what, girl? Yeah, yeah, it's your time to be whipped. Yeah, you wanna taste it again? Because you will. You will in just a second. Unless they keep shadow weaving me into submission, then we've got a problem on our hands. Hmm. Didn't think about that. Damn you. Okay. Well, I'll take this as a chance to learn from my mistakes. And retry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Party was defeated. Unjustly so. But we'll show them who's boss now. Also, you know, wouldn't have hurt to have a little freaking CP on hand, right, Estelle? Still. Uh, okay, let's go take out these guys first then. Temper. There we go. Strength and defense down. Now, we will... Oh, there's... Ah, uh, it's... It's not that big of an area, though. Okay, no, no, bind whip will do. Ah, uh, come on, Shara. You can't be doing this to me. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, then. I mean, I could... Yeah, why not? Good as new. Shadow weaving, of course, it's your favorite. Who zero? Nice. Then what about we use Kemper on the other guy as well? That would actually be really helpful then. Um. No, you girl will... Ah, uh, come on. Uh, what does Heartbreak do? Yeah, let's try it. It never worked. I mean, it never impeded anybody, but... Uh, bind Whip, there you go. Okay, finally. One down, two to go. The poison is a little bit of a problem. We'll just have to keep an eye out for it. Oh no. Oh no, you won't. No, you will not. There you go. Yeah, you thought. You thought you could do that. Um, What do I do? Well, I mean, I'll get the poison damage regardless. So maybe I should just... Uh, where is it? Craft, heartbreak, this guy, and then use Chloe to heal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And actually heal just a cell. Uh, I feel like she doesn't have more than a thousand and something HP, so. No need to use Tiaral. Oh, 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 wrong move, buddy. I'm gonna do the exact same thing you did last time. No, 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 no. You will not. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I love how he ignores everybody just to run up to Estelle. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess, yeah. Then we'll kill the other buddy. And I don't think she will revive anybody because she's too selfish of a person to do that. Attack. Boom. Now it's just us, girl. Yeah, yeah. Prepare to use all... Oh, okay. Can't interrupt her right now. Still. Maybe Chloe could? I don't remember. 
craft store. Yes. Nice. And what about you, dear Estelle? Yeah, heal. Why not? Now the fight is in the bag, basically, so I'm not even worrying about it. Yeah, yeah, spray all you want. Alrighty, uh, no, none of these. Ah, uh, come on. Well, there may be some of these, why not? Whoops, didn't mean to. I really haven't been using magic at all. Creates a massive vortex of slicing arrow blades. See, like, that would have been useful. Um, Chaos Brand? Confused, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, it's all area. Mm, it's like, I would like something that's... Mm, lightning, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, it's in a straight line, okay. Ah, but she's gonna move, of course. That wasn't really wise of me. Still... You are kinda of grinding my gears with your frigging... Eh, what's it called? Poison? <laughs> so, yeah, I'll have to heal again. And then... Can you maybe... Ah, come on, no points. Well then, art... That's why I want something that's single attack. Uh, area... Single... Yeah, but... Blue impact? Maybe, I guess. Yeah, okay, blue impact it is. Let's see what <laughs> Shara can do. It's just gonna be a little show. Ooh, look at all the pretty lights, yeah. Look at them go. Good work, Shara. Nice. Come on, now it's time to close in on her and be done with it. Heartbreak. Nice. Uh, Shara, I don't think it would reach. Honestly, yeah. And we don't have enough points, just get close. Oh, wow, she has a lot of range. There we go. I would have preferred to deal the last blow with Estelle, but since it would have been a little bit more dangerous to skip another turn, it's good. <laughs> the way it happened, it's fine. Ugh, what a nasty woman. Who was that, anyway? Colonel Richard, second in command. Your stereotypical femme fatale. That would explain it, yes. Now, on to the royal keep. Yes, let's hurry. Hey, dude, you enjoyed the show? Couldn't you, you couldn't even like throw a wrench uh, at her head or something? Just in case, I can make a blah, 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 yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Holler if you need me. Oh, they'll be hollering, the enemies. I found them, this way. Uh-oh, here they come again. Persistent little buggers, aren't they? Oh, even the dogs, okay, okay. It's time to finally use this. Wow, okay. But see, the freaking fact that she gets to act so late. I'm gonna do it here. Because they're gonna get closer to us. Either way, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. This should work. Maybe, hopefully. And if we could do something similar with them... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, like here. Well, the the gunman probably won't wouldn't move. Yeah, okay. Ooh, nice. I stand corrected, but at least he's still in the circle. <laughs> uh, you as well, my girl. You could do a stone impact. Would be very, very nice. Mm, okay, yeah, the dogs will get closer, so... Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, looks like he's the only one who's gonna get the impact. 
cool. Wow. Shara's not kidding around. Oh, wait, that was Estelle. Okay, this is gonna be even better then. Oh, yes, it is. Wow. Nice. Okay, sadly, yeah, this is gonna affect only him. Still better than nothing. Estelle is in grave danger. Yeah, not anymore. Nah, I'm sorry too, sweet girl. Are y'all done? Don't you have a little shame for what you're doing? Uh, Sylphan Whip? Uh, come on, why are they always so far apart? I guess. Yeah, at least we'll get rid of him. Nice. Same thing goes for the dog. Yeah, yeah, I think she's, she can deal more than that. Yes, nice. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, of course. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, sure. Why not take us both? Good thing he missed. And now, Bind Whip. Nice. And for the final touch... Well, yeah, now help Estelle. <laughs> uh, items... Well, no, she can actually revive us this way. Tell us. Okay, and also... Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Mm. Oh, Sharon needs it too. Didn't even see. Okay. We're all good to go. Here they come! You shall not pass! But we must, and we will! Come on, just try and stop us! Oh, come on, please, no! <laughs> this is getting out of hand, okay? Um, I mean, I guess I'd rather... Yeah, use arts and hope uh, that I can reach enough CP to to freaking use the super ability. Because that's the only thing that would, you know, uh, get rid of them quickly. I don't even know if she has another one, to be honest. Because now we have two for each character, but I don't know about her. Huh. We'll see. Uh, Estelle can't do anything as well. Ariel, sure. Yeah, why not? Um, what about her? Yeah, she only has one. I feel like the same goes for Shara. Um, uh, yeah, I'd like an area type of attack as well. Stone impact. Mm, they're gonna move. Oh, but these ones are gonna move after us. Okay, cool. Stop. Yes. You as well? You as well? Ah, come on. He's just in the first zone. Oh, well. We're still gonna do numbers on them. Yep. We're gonna win this. We're gonna win this. Hoo-hoo, Shara! Shara for the win! And Chloe as well. Okay, this is much more manageable. Boom. Ooh, zero. Wow, okay. Love to see that. Now, how are you doing? Mm, okay, a couple of hits. Yeah, I'm not gonna use any arts. Four crafts. Q. Cool. Sir, would you, you know, consider a retreat? I will not shoot you in the back. I promise. Ah, well. Too late. 
Yeah, less laughing and more rescuing queens, Chloe. Okay. <laughs> I should have healed. Damn it. <laughs> hey, tra traitors, y you dare to come here? Do you not realize that I am the new king? Oh, go brush your goofy hairdo. You ain't king yet. What? Your grace, the Octunian. We are with the Bracer Guild. At the request of Her Highness Princess Claudia, we are here to free the Queen. It would be best for all involved if you quietly stood aside. Uh, Claudia? D damn the brat, damn her to hell! Uncle Dunan, please stop this! Colonel Richard is just using you! What? Who, who are you? Oh, c c uh, c Claudia? Is that you? What happened to your hair and your clothes? We have comprehension. Repeat, we have comprehension. Though he still hasn't noticed that we first met him in ruin. No idea what you're talking about, but he doesn't seem to be the most observant sort. I should have told him sooner, perhaps. How, how dare you make a fool of me? It's because of things like this that those creatures known as women are not to be trusted. Sly, narrow-minded, nitpicking, nagging wretches. How could I ever give up the crown to such a vile creature? <laughs> I mean, Chloe is disappointed, but <laughs> but it's was so funny. Um, Shara and Estelle were like, Oh no, you did not. You did not just say that, you misogynistic piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I mean... Uh, your Grace, I, I don't think that was the right thing to say. Uh, but maybe you should apologize. Hmm, vile creatures, huh? And you know you fucked up when your henchmen are like, dude, are like saying, Dude, come on, what the hell? My, my, I believe you've just gone from stupid to suicidal. After all, that's a mighty courageous sentiment to vocalize when in the presence of three armed women. I'm sorry, uncle. In this, I cannot defend you. <laughs> Will he be doing anything in the fight? I don't think so. Hmm, wait a second. Yeah, say this with single attack. Oh, but he does have a thousand health points. Yeah, but I'm not gonna attack him. Let's go for this one. And I just realized I should have used it while it was not my turn. But I got too excited. <laughs> ah! Still feel like she should have unlocked another one, because that damage was subpar. Like, come on, girl. You, you can do better. I know you can. Okay. Ouchies, ouchies. Ooh, okay. Okay. I see how it is. Thankfully, they don't deal as much damage as them, as this one. But like, come on. Doom, do, 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 do. I don't even know if I should uh, revive Estelle right now. I feel like it'd be better to just get rid of the one with the halberd. Uh, continuous strike, canceling arts and craft. Now camphor. Yeah. Oh, Zieg! Zieg, why would you do this to me? Ah, that's what he does. Okay, okay. I mean, it's even weird that they're like... Oh, yes. I'm not the one at fault here, it's you. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Nice. He's got that stormtrooper aim. Still, yeah, Shara's hurting. I don't know what to do. I feel like we're gonna lose this first one. Come on, Z, please. Nice. I love the fact that in this game, like, they don't cancel each other out. It's just strength up, strength down. <laughs> uh, bind whip, sure. Come on, just, like, the frigging, it's in the frigging name. Bind someone for once, please. Yeah, 
Ah, uh, no, 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 this can't end well. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, run away, you bastard. Bastard. Mm, yeah, why not? Let's do it again. Because it does little damage, that's why. Okay, lesson learned. I'll take my loss. Yeah, yeah. Come on, who wants to deal the final blow? Thank you very much, sir. Party was defeated again, two times in one episode. Uh, 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 uh. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be... Worthwhile using the... Um, the area, freaking thing, whatever it's called. Uh, 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 I'm gonna try this, just cause... Ah, see? It does bring their attack uh, order up, but... It's like, yeah, it's one use, basically. So if we were already, if we were already in this formation, it wouldn't have made sense. Okay. Uh, why not? Yeah, let's do it with Estelle. Estelle can use Ariel. I mean, they're all gonna move. Mm, yeah, let's do it here. Good enough. Then... Camphor, please hit. It's a critical, you have to hit. Nice. Okay, come closer, I know you want to. Not close enough, though. Okay, okay. nice. Alright. Haha, <laughs> and I can steal the 10 strength, whatever. Use it against him, sure. Oh, very naughty. <laughs> Ooh, nice one, my, my girl. I was about to say my man. <laughs> ah, come on. You and your frigging metal or whatever. I don't even understand, yeah, how it affects them. They know he's a charlatan. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Use it, use it. Yes! He's gone, he's gone. Come on, come on. Please. Please, Estelle. Yes! Okay, now we're talking. Yeah, yeah, you're the king. Yeah, yeah. You're about to... <laughs> you're about to be the Burger King when I reduce you to a patty. Um, now, if I could... Uh, come on. Yeah, they're gonna attack Estelle before I can heal her. Unless... Unless I do this. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't care, bro. It's over. But their bullets feel like the... Oh, no. Okay. Just one. And he missed. Thank you, Ideas. Uh, still, yeah, nothing to do here. Just attack. Nice. I'm not the one at fault, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be an automatic win once we deal with them, or... Hmm, I guess we'll see. Craft, hard break, this one. Ooh, yes! Chloe, please. I don't think you can, but if you could reach him... Uh, okay. Maybe just... Camphor? Yeah, it could work. Please, 300 points of damage, see? Yes! My boy, my baby bird! Okay, Estelle's a gunner. I knew that, no problem. Looks like she's not gonna get any... <laughs> any freaking XP from this fight. I mean, I could revive her. Mm, nah. Not right now, we have to get rid of this dude first. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. boom, boom, boom. Ouchies, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Two criticals, though. So we pretty much got this. 
Uh, Camper. Yes. Just in case he's not dead by the end of this turn. There we go. Nice. Oh, now you inflict sleep. Thank you. Ah, it's an automatic win. Okay. Well, that settles that. Now then, shall I show you just how vile a woman can be? Maybe I should give him a taste of a ladylike whipping. <laughs> so stay back. Please stay away. Um, I might be able to call them off. If you do, I swear I'll be Her Majesty's very own human shield. Hey, mummy! <laughs> Whoops, maybe we overdid it with the threats. Well, a little dose of the cold, hard truth might be the best medicine he ever gets. Yes, it is an unfortunate situation he's gotten himself into. Still, I cannot allow my unconscious uncle to simply be left... Your Grace. Oh, Philip. Hi, Philip. Miss Estelle and Your Highness, I can offer no words to make up for my master's behavior in this instance. As the man who raised him, the responsibility is mine to bear. Please, I ask that you punish me in his stead. Philip bowed his head deeply. Hey, hold on a second. Please, Philip, lift your eyes and face judgment. <laughs> We're here to help my grandmother to save the queen. We have no intention of doing anything to the duke. I would appreciate it if you would take him to my room. Y your highness, he's not actually hurt. He just passed out from the shock. Uh, thank you so much, all of you. I will not forget the boon you've granted. I mean, why all the the, the, the worrying about him, like, what? why? I I understand he's your liege, but... Really? Your Majesty and everyone else as well, thank you for showing mercy. His Grace will surely remember this kindness once he awakens. Oh, sure. Duke Dunan is unconscious. As he should be at all times. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna do the same stupid thing again. I'm gonna heal this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, La Tiara, yes. Again. Nice. Uh, Queen. What was her name? Theresa, maybe? I guess. Is she out on the balcony? What's going on? Oh, there was another room, okay. Are you alright, Grandmother? We're here to rescue you, Your Majesty. Claudia and Estelle. So you're finally here. I was getting quite bored with waiting. Oh, it's gotta be... Yeah, Lawrence. Oh, it was the balcony. Lieutenant Lawrence, what are you doing here? <laughs> My duty is to guard Her Majesty. Is it truly any wonder that I'm here? Enough of your crap! No matter how strong you are, we've still got three to one odds on you. This one certainly seems killed. Why, just cause he's red? Just who is he? Commander of the Intelligence Division Special Ops, Second Lieutenant Lawrence Palgar. We know his surname, okay. Former Jaeger and scout for the Colonel. So you've done your research. I see, most impressive. But what else would one expect of the daughter of an S-ranked bracer? One uh, Cassius Bright, I believe. <gasps> My master's rank has never been public knowledge, and yet... You are not one to be trifled with, I see. <laughs> I know you as well. Sherazard Harvey, also known as the Silver Streak. C-ranked. Whoa, really? C? I would have guessed B at least. Wow, kind of disappointed. <laughs> and very close to ascending to B rank, it seems. Oh, okay, now that's fine. P please release my grandmother. 
If you were just fighting in the employ of the Colonel, there is no further call to do this. There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. You see only the surface, like that of a quartz grid, with no concept of the forces at work within. What? <laughs> Take heed, Princess Claudia. The nation is like an enormously complex ornament. The people are like the units of quartz that provide the power and organize the system. And the territory which houses them is the frame. If you lack the means to understand how it works, then you are unfit to be its queen. Huh? An interesting metaphor. You may even be right. I certainly never expected to hear a theory on the nature of politics at a time like this. <laughs> Pardon my rudeness. You've no need to hear my useless sermonizing your majesty. I don't really understand this all that well. But the general gist is that you don't plan to let the queen go, do you? And if I do not? Obviously we take her back by force. <laughs> Indeed. After we've come this far, we certainly can go back now. You don't give me the impression that you bear us any ill will. But I will bring my blade to bear on you, if it will get my grandmother back. <laughs> Good. In that case, let me show you a little of what I can really do. Huh? Okay. Oh, I remember him now. Okay. He's the one who set fire to the orphanage. Bastard, okay. Silver hair. No, it's Osh Blonde. Okay, Shara, it's not the time to be talking about that uh, frigging hair colors, okay? It's silvery enough, all right? It's not like yours. Yeah, I guess yours will be more silver. He's kind of like a, yeah, Ash Blonde, kind of like uh, a gold, but that doesn't really believe in itself, something like that. Sure. Now, we're not the hairdresser, okay? Don't patronize me. I guess that you were born somewhere up north. <laughs> Indeed, you are correct. Though it's closer than you might think. What? I trust you will not be offended if I choose not to go easy on you, simply because you are women. Shall we then? Okay, this one's gonna be a toughie. Oh, and he gets to act first. Cool. Ooh. Oh uh, well, not bad, not good, but not bad either. I feel like I should, yeah, save my points and attack him with all I've got. Although, now, now that I think about it, no, um, Sherazard's uh, ultimate did not do that much damage, so yeah, why not, bind whip. It's, not, it's never gonna bind him, of course, but uh, Estelle... Yeah, Estelle, I feel like, should uh, rack up the points. Uh, you will do camphor right away. And please hit C. It's no time to be... Yeah. Okay. He has a high defense. He's preparing to use arts. Ah, Earth Guard. Okay. <laughs> well, sucks to be you. I basically never use... Ah, uh, I forgot how that works. I was gonna say I never use magic. But that's not how that works. Do I have any... You know, in the inventory here to say... I don't know. I mean, technically... Condition. Total guard. That means the next physical attack will not do any damage. But the ones after that will, right? I don't know. Let's try. Okay. Guard. And it's still there. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Earth Guard forms a temporary Earth Shield. But what if I attack with wind, then? You know what? Just cause. Let's mimic him for a second. Where is it? Yo, Earth Guard. Yes. I mean, there there isn't any point in in doing anything at all right now. Maybe. Okay, it will act after. Zero Storm. Okay, not bad. 
not a lot of damage. I can work with that. Oh, but it interrupted us. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah, why not? Let's do it on Chloe. At least she will heal us afterwards. Uh, blue impact, sure. Okay. Going after Shara. Okay, she got the same stat. At least we know it works for both of us. Okay, so maybe it blocks two attacks and that's it? I don't know. Uh, yes. Nice. And then... <laughs> it would be fun to have such an ability for more than one character, so you just <laughs> keep on advancing turns. Uh, what now? Yeah, just attack. And same goes for you, I guess. Ah, uh, come on. Demon flames? Oh, we are doomed. My jaw has dropped. Okay, good thing she had the guard on. Well, <laughs> chill, dude. It's not like you have to get a, a hit in. You can always survive without. Uh, surviving, uh, I guess. It's better to 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 do this, yeah, than to heal with the spells. At least right now. Craft? No, nothing. I still want to uh, try and. It's not pommel. What's the name of the new ability? Well, whatever. I'm gonna use it on him. However it's called. And... Uh, I guess... At least we'll decrease his attack. Preparing to use arts. Oh, come on. Stop doing that whenever I freaking get you with the C. Attack. Let's see if it's true. Or if it takes a magical attack to dispel the... Okay, no, two attacks. Of any kind. Nice. Um, Camper again? Yes, why not? I mean, if this basically... Uh, brings him into a loop of, yeah, just doing, oh, Terrell, no. How will I prevent this? He gets to act immediately. This doesn't feel right. I don't understand how I'm supposed to, yeah, overcome this. It's impossible. Because, yeah, attack, attack, and then he decides, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna heal. And not even just, like, heal a little bit. My whole bar. Uh, attack. Come on, Estelle. A little more than just 10. Preparing to use arts. I can interrupt him. I can interrupt him. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> Craft. Sturm. Yes. Nice. Okay. Oh, come on. He, he can use the ultimate ability every five turns. Am I supposed to win this or lose it? Because, sure, oh, yeah, sure, now she can't... Nah, this is too unba unbalanced. Come on, I, I can't believe we are supposed to win this. It's impossible. Not like this, at least. If they expect us to lose the fight three, four, five times, and then... <laughs> He'll behave like a normal freaking person. What is this? Confusion? Really? Well, okay. Just leave the mouse and keyboard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Go ahead. Cool. Nice. Now how about um, Sherazard just throws herself off the balcony? I mean, it's impossible. Nah. No, there's gotta be more to this. I feel like we're supposed to lose. Maybe Cassius will show up? Uh, <laughs> that's probably just wishful thinking, isn't it? But I mean, what else am I supposed to do here? Like, sure, revive Chloe, okay. Nah. Nah, it's impossible. It's gotta be... There's gotta be something else to it. Because look at this. I mean, acting all cool. If I could use my ultimate abilities every turn I got, then you wouldn't be smiling, dude. Yeah, no, 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 no. There's no way. We are supposed to lose this. What's this? anti set zero? Ah, I can't even use my... You know what, man? I don't care. Attack. Come on. Take me. I'm here. Thank you. Boom. Now, if there's a game over screen... Okay, yeah, I knew it. There was no way. And actually, it would be quite interesting to see if you could, I don't know, either manipulate the game's uh, stats or be so overleveled after grinding I don't know how many hours that you could actually defeat him. That would be fun to see. How disappointing. I had thought you would prove more of a challenge. How? How can you be so much stronger than during the tournament? He was probably holding back deliberately. He might be as strong as Master Cassius. Grandmother, I'm... I'm so sorry. Claudia, Estelle! That will be far enough, your majesty, if you please. They're not mortally wounded, I assure you. I... <laughs> I mean, from the Queen's perspective, I can see how she would doubt that, seeing as you just freaking nuked the three poor girls. Your eyes betray much. You are so young, yet you have endured such hardships already. Your Majesty, you're hardly qualified to feel pity for me. You who know the name of Hamel. Huh? It's almost time. I will return Her Majesty to you, just as you wished. Huh? If you wish to stop the Colonel, you had best hurry below. You may well already be too late, but you may be able to prevent any further needless damage from occurring. Below? You cannot mean beneath there. <laughs> However unpleasant you may find it, I was certain that you would understand the significance. You can show them the way. And now, I bid you adieu. Okay. Bye, I guess. You know... <laughs> you know there's no airship waiting for you down there. What? Uh... Hey! Is he insane? He, he's gone. Did he drop into the lake? Nah, he can fly, probably. But the water's undisturbed. Just who is this guy? Grandmother, are you hurt? I am unharmed, Claudia. He never laid a hand on me. But more importantly... Estelle! Yeah, Joshua, it's cool that you're here and all, but we've got bigger fish to fry, it seems. Joshua? Thank Hydeus, you're all right. You too. Since Colonel Richard and Lieutenant Lawrence weren't in the castle, I started to worry. The red helmet guy was here just a minute ago. What? He jumped over that handrail and, well, who knows? He's some kind of monster, all right. I... I see. Praise Hydeus for keeping you safe. Joshua... Your Majesty, it's good to see you unharmed. Well met, Lieutenant Schwartz. Indeed, I owe all of you a debt of gratitude. 
You are far too kind, your majesty. We're just glad we could be of help. I don't think it's over yet, though. We've dealt with the special ops inside the castle, but I'm afraid there are bad tidings. Army reinforcements from every province are on their way to Gransville. From the sounds of it, the intelligence division is somehow maintaining control. I see. Time is short, my liege. I must ask that you board the ID ship and escape at once. No, that I cannot do. The situation has grown more dire. Colonel Richard must be stopped, whatever the cost. What do you mean, your majesty? Last night, I finally understood the true intentions of which the colonel spoke. He wants the Shining Ring, the Aureole. <laughs> I mean, I understand. Obviously, yeah, the Shining Ring, cause yeah, it sparkles or what, <laughs> and whatever. <laughs> but I just imagine like, I don't know, uh, a ring with Jack Nicholson's face <laughs> on it and be like, here's Johnny. <laughs> Ariel, why does that sound so familiar? It's one of the Septarians that ideas gave the ancients. Uh, sure, of course, the Septarians, as we all know. The legend says that it has the power to control nature itself. Oh yeah, Professor Alba told us about it. But I thought that was just some silly story that was passed down through the church. Huh? Mm, so it does exist? And it lies somewhere within Liber. According to an old legend of the royal family, the Shining Ring shall be catastrophe, condemning the souls of men to eternal purgatory. It has been sealed with the interval of the blackest dark, that we might retain our humanity. Condemning the souls of men to eternal purgatory? Well, that's not a little ominous. Those words have been passed down in the royal family as a warning. Perhaps this Shining Ring truly was so dangerous that the royal family's ancestors sealed it away. Also, there was that massive verbal reaction that was detected beneath the city. If one takes both of these into account, this shining ring must be sealed away underneath Gransel. It makes sense. Yes, and I believe that the colonel has reached the same conclusion. There remain no details of what exactly the shining ring is, but I believe there will be grave danger for all, should it be restored. It could be a disaster on par with the great collapse of legend, no! Incredible. Excuse me, your majesty. Lieutenant Lawrence told us to go underground, but what did that really mean? There is a mysterious room within Gransel Castle, where nothing, not even a grain of rice, has been kept in generations, forbidden since long ago. Oh! You mean the treasury? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> The treasury should be accessed, actually, like... Where are you gonna keep all of your... Kingdom's money? No doubt about it. There are signs that someone came through here recently, and frequently at that. That's not all. The tracks also suggest that someone brought in something very heavy. I hold the key to this room, but there is a spare. It's likely that's what was used to gain entry. It would seem that we must investigate. Queen Alicia produced the key from her dress. Huh. Yeah, an elevator. Makes sense. But I mean, once again, how is this the treasury? <laughs> ah, okay. This elevator wasn't here before. Where did it come from? Perhaps it's a piece of Colonel Richard's new construction. In which case, it probably goes down to where this shining ring is sealed away. Yes. And that may have been the true goal behind the coop from the very beginning. They can never have built such a thing with, without occupying the castle. That's crazy. Hmm, it's definitely a possibility. In any given country, a royal sanctuary is generally regarded as inviolate. To break that trust would require quite an aggressive plan. Regardless, we'll probably need to use this to get underground. Let's test it to see if it works. I mean, bro, if they are there, how do you suppose they got there? <laughs> Joshua began to inspect the elevator's control panel. 
Ah. What is it? It's locked with some type of orbital energy. It looks like it won't work unless we can find some special type of quartz to put in it. What? No, we've come so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to go put the screws to one of the special ops soldiers. One of them might have the key. Yes, that sounds wisest. No, the, no, that won't be necessary. Huh? It can't be. Oh, Professor Russell. Queen Alicia, it's, it has been quite some time. I'm glad to see Estelle and Joshua are doing well. Hold up. Professor, what are you doing here? I thought the intelligence division was after you in size. And on top of that, how did you get here? Grandpa, where'd you go? Hey. Oh, it's it's gotta be Agate. Once again. I did find out it's Agate, but I'm gonna keep calling him Agate. I have grown fond of the name. Hey, enough with running all over the place. Is everyone in your family as big a pain in the ass as you? But but Agate. Oh. Tita? I knew it. Estelle, Joshua. Aww. Ah, Tita. My goodness, I was hoping I get to see you again. We heard at the guild that you two were fighting at the castle. I'm so glad you're alright. Tita. Thank you for being so concerned. It's good to see you well, Agate. But what are you doing in the royal city? Well, we hid out for a bit, but then we happened upon a cargo freighter bound for Gransel. Freighter? <laughs> and I figured, what the hell, the best place to hide is in plain sight after all. Once we got the load on from Elnan, we came straight to the castle. Alright, got something for you from him. Received payment, haha, <laughs> okay. I mean, at least he was really... You know, trusting of our work, and yeah, he believed that we would succeed. So, mm, thank you, Elnan. Received payment for this other one. Second class, nice. Grail locket as a accessory as a perk. Okay. Is this okay? I mean, we haven't reported in. Looks like he got filled in on the general gist of things from a guardsman messenger. So, what brings you your amateur asses here? Me? I figured we could at least beat up our, the remaining special ops guys. Hmm? Wait, I know you. It's been a while, Agate. Thank you for your efforts at the lighthouse. Chloe, right? What's a student doing in a place like this? It seems my granddaughter is in your debt. Which means that I also owe you my thanks. Don't worry about it, it's all part of the job. So, what's up, Granny? <laughs> you work in the castle, did these numbskulls rope you in to helping them? <laughs> you barbarian! Do you realize to whom you're speaking? You stand in the presence of Queen Alicia of Liberl. Huh? You, you know, she does look sort of familiar. Eh, you really should loosen that bandana of yours, boy. It's obviously squeezing your brain too tight. Say that again, old man. C queen S So that means this lady would have to be... Her Majesty's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. We call her Chloe, though. Chloe, meet the professor's granddaughter, Tita. She's like our little sister. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you, Tita. I'd be happy if you'd also call me Chloe. Yes, ma'am. I mean Chloe. Oh, what a little cutie pie. My name's Sherazard. I'm Joshua Nestel's mentor. You can just call me Shera. Uh, okay, Shera. And you can call me Uncle Olivier. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> anyway, the elevator seems to be giving you some trouble. What seems to be the problem, and what in Idea's name is going on here? Well... 
Joshua briefly relayed the gist of Colonel Richard's plan and told the professor about the Shining Ring, aka the Oriole. Oh, come on. This is some kind of joke, right? You're not serious. Uh, I can't believe such a thing would be buried here. Hmm, and now it's happened, just as I was afraid of. So if we use this elevator, we can get where we need to go. Yes, but it has a special lock. Made of quartz, apparently. Ah, that. Let me have a look at it. This is my own design. I it uses a card key. You can't undo the lock unless you insert the card that's embedded with the identical quartz. The professor produced a small cable and slid it into the card slot. However, this is an early model without any type of failsafe. So if you feed it just the right amount of orbital energy... Woohoo! Nice going, Prof! I'm impressed. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Now, shall we descend? Even you? We've got trouble. What is it? Report. A division of the regular army has arrived at Grenzel's main gate. It looks like they are being led by an officer of the intelligence division. What? And three military patrol ships are approaching from the lake. Your orders, ma'am? Of all the damn times. Perhaps I should make an appearance in order to persuade them. Grandmother! I will go to the terrace on the roof and address the arriving forces. Lieutenant Schwartz, make your preparations. B but what if you are attacked? I believe in them. Misguided though they are, they are still citizens of Liber. If they see me and hear my voice, I do not believe that they will attack. Your Majesty. All of you, it is with boundless regret that I ask you to shoulder this burden. Please, your majesty, you don't need to say anything else. We'll do whatever it takes to stop the colonel. Please, leave this to us. Oh, and there our heroes go. Mm, we've come really far, you know? Look at all the allies we've gathered. Who knows how it's gonna work? Well, obviously they wouldn't have us... They wouldn't let us have a party of eight people, freaking cool as it would be, but nah, they wouldn't. <laughs> Just imagine all the chaos and the sheer power we would have. Ah, that's why there was a save spot there. What the heck? They're ruins from the ancient Zemurian civilization. As old as these, as these appear, I don't get the feeling that this place is completely dead. It seems to function just like the equipment in the tetracyclic towers. That ain't all that's moving. I got the feeling we've got some pretty nasty creatures around here too. Ooh, well. The structures nearby look to be made of modern materials. I suppose Colonel Richards had some construction going on. I suspect you're right. Building anything at this depth is rather impressive. The ruins are even larger than I'd suspected. If we're not careful, we could get terribly lost. <sighs> it may be best if we split up. Two groups, one for scouting and one to stay on standby. Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Basically, we establish a base camp of sorts in a secure location. That's the gist of it. The scouting party will find a way through and the ones on standby will be available to switch out as needed. Once the right path is found, everyone moves forward to establish a new base. Makes sense to me. In that case, I believe that our current location would be the best place to start from. And still in Joshua, you'll be the ones to decide who's going to be on which team. Wait, us? But... You two are at the very heart of this operation. I doubt anyone will object. I agree. As do I. I'll follow your lead. Well, like I have a choice, I mean. <laughs> I have faith in you to make the right choices. Sounds fine to me. Joshua, what do we do? No need to think about it too hard. If things get tough, we can always turn back and switch people out. Oh, well then. 
choose two members other than Estelle and Joshua. I'm gonna have to go with my boy Zen. And I don't know, I like Chloe's healing abilities, but I feel like... Mm, yeah, I want my boy Olivier with me as well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Reverse harem. Choose Agathe, Olivier, and or Zin to join Joshua and Estelle. I just gained the trophy. <laughs> yeah, because it would make sense. Estelle, Estelle is the only girl now. <laughs> That's fun. Estelle, I'm going to send Seek to accompany you. Ooh, cool. When you find a suitable spot to use as a base, please send him back. He'll be able to show us the way you to wherever you are. Scree! Ah, good idea. That way, the search party won't have to backtrack to get the others. It's up to you, Seek. Scree! I mean, you, you shouldn't go too far ahead, though, bro. Well, that means we're counting on you to handle the scout. Just to be on the safe side, I've prepared a complete set of tools. Should have everything you need. If you need to modify any ornaments, just let me know. Okay. We'll be off then. In the next episode. Because <laughs> this one ends here. So, thank you everybody for having followed me thus far. I have been Loaf Dog, And I'll see you next time. Probably not for the epic conclusion. Because I feel like we still have like... Two, three, maybe even four more episodes. But we are getting there. Oh, we are getting there. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.